The robots in this lab at Carnegie Mellon University are not built to walk or talk. They're designed to slither. Howie Chosit has spent the better part of the last two decades designing snake robots, machines that can mimic real snakes in nature. These robots can use their joints, their degrees of freedom, to thread through tightly packed volumes and get to locations that people and conventional machinery otherwise can't access. Chosit says his snake bots will soon be an essential tool in both medical and search and rescue operations. The larger robots are fitted with cameras and other sensory equipment that can be controlled and accessed by an operator via a tether, giving rescue workers critical data in real time. Environments that may be hazardous to humans or rescue animals will present no problem for Chosit snakes. Rubble is a very fragile makeshift structure. You don't want to disturb it that much. The snake robot, by virtue of it being minimally invasive, it won't disturb the rubble, thereby helping ensure the safety of a victim who may be, uh, may be trapped inside of it. So versatile is the technology that Chosit and his team also see potential for a surgical version a smaller, minimally invasive snake robot that can target places in the body that today can only be reached through surgery. With a surgical snake robot, you can enter the body through a small incision, make a one turn one way, another turn another way, and then before you know it, you're behind the heart where you can deliver a whole host of therapies and diagnostics, which otherwise would have required, say, a full sternotomy. The surgical robot is already on a path to commercialization, okay. with the oh. search and rescue version not far behind it. Howie Chosit says he's on a mission to bring serpentine robotics into the mainstream, while bringing the much maligned reptile a little credit at the same time.